Nevada Virtual Academy, Mr. N here, uh, Unit 8, Solving Systems of Linear Equations by the Substitution Method. Okay, uh, this is from your manual, as you can uh, see, and we mentioned in the class also. You have to follow about three steps, right? You have to solve one of the equations for one of the variables. You need to substitute that variable's expression into the second equation and then solve for the other variable. Okay? Final step, you put it back into the first equation and you find a missing variable. Okay? Well, it may not make sense yet. Let's do a few problems. That was fast. <laughs> not so fast. One other time. Use the substitution method to solve each system of equations. All right, number one, 3x plus y equals 10, and the second equation, y equals 6x plus 1. What should we do here first? Solve for one of the variables, right? Well, the second equation is already there. All I need to do next would be to plug 6x plus 1 into the first one wherever I have y. Make sense? So now your first equation will be 3x plus y, but your y is 6x plus 1. Everything equals to 10. See that? Alright, next thing, I will remove that parenthesis. It was not needed, I used it just to show you guys that this is nothing else but your y. Okay, I have 3x plus 6x plus 1 equals 10. You will combine your x's, 3x plus 6x equals 9x, take 1 away from both sides, 9x equals 9. What is the next, the next step? To find x, divide everything by 9. Right? x equals 1. And we solved half of this um, system. Now you go back and into the y expression, right? y equals 6x plus 1, I will substitute my x with 1, I will just found that, so the y will be 6 times 1 plus 1, which equals what, 6 times 1 is 6, make sure you're following all those operations, right, 6 plus 1, and that equals 7, x is 1, y equals 7, and you are done, let's do 11, about printing okay what do you see number 11 y is already there right y is 9x plug it into whatever you have two whatever you have y right so your second equation now becomes y plus 2 times y i mean x plus 2 times y which is what 9x equals negative 3 multiply that 2 first right so you have x plus 18x equals negative 3 x plus 18x equals what? 19x. That equals negative 3. To find x, divide by 19. Your x will be equal to negative 3 over 19. How can we find y? Simple. Take your first equation here y equals 9 times x, right? will be 9 times negative 3 over 19. This way you find that your y is going to be negative 27 over 19. Right? So x is negative 3 over 19, y is negative 27 over 19. We are done. Okay, how about number six? Number six, as you can see, we cannot move right away with the substitution. So, first thing I will say, how about the second equation solving for C? If I'm taking AB away from both sides here, right, you'll have C. AB minus AB, nothing, equals 8 minus 8D, alright? 
And I will take this C and I will plug it back into the first equation, wherever I have C. And now, first equation becomes 11 times 8 minus 8D minus 2D equals negative 2. 11 times 8 is 88. 11 times 8D will be 88D minus 88D minus 2D equals negative 2. You will combine your Ds. You will take this 88 away from both sides. right? On the left, I will have negative 88D. Always take the sign in front of the number. Minus 2D will be negative 90D, right? Equals negative 9, because negative 2 minus 88 is negative 9. As you can see, okay, you should divide by negative 9 both sides. And you find that your D equals 1, right? Because negative divided by negative is positive, 90 divided by itself is nothing else but 1. What should I do next? I'm going back to the substitution that I used, c equals 8 minus 8d, right? And now I found that my c equals 8 minus 8 times 1. What is d? 1. Well, 8 times 1 is 8, 8 minus 8 is 0. Your c is equal to 0. You are done. Now, obviously, for each one of them, you should check by plugging in x and y into your equations and see if you have a true statement. Okay? Good. Let's move on. All right. Two other systems. 17. I know y equals negative 1 over x and 2x equals 10, okay? Well, in the second one, if I will divide by 2, I can find my x. Well, you find x equals 5. Take it into the first equation. You find that your y equals negative 1 over 5. And you are done. Second one. Well, first equation here, 9x minus 18y equals negative 9. 9, 18, 9. How about dividing everything by 9? This equation becomes what? 9 divided by 9 will be 1x, right? Minus 18y divided by 9 will be 2y equals negative 1. All right? The second one, 2, 2, 4. I can divide each one by 2. When you have x plus y equals 2. Now, with either, with either one of them, you can solve for one of the variables. That's up to you, right? How about solving in the second one for x? I'm taking y away from both sides, so your equation now becomes x. y minus y is nothing. Equals 2 minus 1. Now, we'll take this x this 2 minus y, and I will plug it into the first one, right? So you know your first equation becomes 2 minus y minus 2y equals negative 1. Minus y minus 2y, right? That would be negative 3y. I'm going to take that 2 away from both sides. So negative 3y equals negative 3. Obvious now that your y will be 1. Right? If you don't see that, follow the steps. Divide by negative 3. y equals 1. To find your x, plug this y back into your substitution. Right? x equals 2 minus 1. x equals 1. And we are done. Make sense? 